uh, take this time to reflect on um, a second enrollment period as we take this time to hear from you about uh, what we've done, what you observed, what we can do better, and how we can prepare for OEP three. That's open enrollment period number three. Help me to welcome our executive director, Mila Kaufman. I want to say this. We've been successful here because we have a shared vision, a shared mission. Each of you share my vision and my mission, which is to make sure that we don't stop until every single person who lives and works here has coverage. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the Rural America, I'll give you the quick lowdown. Um, we are an independent, nonprofit, nonpartisan organization whose goal is to maximize the number of Americans who get insurance covered under the health insurance marketplaces. Um, we now work with about 4,600 partners um, in all 50 states. DC, um, as Mill would like to say, in which the data shows that we are the second lowest uninsured jurisdiction in this country. So that makes what we have to do even harder, because we have started out with the hard-to-reach population. We did not start out with the luxury of, of just enrolling people. Everything we had to do was geared toward reaching the hard-to-reach population. <laughs> well, the 24-hour marathon was a series of different uh, outreach events. Uh, we were at uh, different spots in the, in the district. Uh, one of them, uh, we, from like 10 o'clock to 1 a.m., we were at the Ben's Chili Bowl. Um, and then I took over at the diner from one, two, maybe six, seven in the morning, something like that. Uh, so but it was a series of 24-hour events that we were starting from earlier in the daytime at Carlos Rosario and at Mary Center and um, just enrolling everywhere across the board. So it was a day dedicated to getting everybody enrolled in, or at least setting them up to get the appointment to the next day where they can get the information at. I played a couple of days at some area barber shops where I just sat down with the computer and enrolled. I actually enrolled people who work there mostly, and I talked to customers and engaged with customers about health insurance information, and it turned out to be really successful. The second one actually was the best one at um, on Georgia Avenue, and I really enjoyed myself. We had been uh, targeting uh, African American outreach in, in, uh, in the district, and uh, this was you know, a historic film, so a lot of people were coming out for it. And there was a lot of, uh, we didn't have to earn uh, too much extra media because there was a lot of media around it uh, anyway. And so we, uh, we uh, partnered with uh, Regal Cinemas uh, to, uh, to have tables at the theaters, uh, but also uh, DC Helplink advertising on all the screens, uh, every, every screen. And then we even printed up uh, um, flyers that were Martin Luther King themed because he uh, cared a lot about health care as a, as a human right. The Restaurant Association, we did a party um, in early February called 80s Babies and it was um, specifically targeting small business owners. We have a lot of entrepreneurial like food truck people and mm -hmm. um, you know specialty food item uh, business owners that are that 25 to 30 year old. So. Um, we did focus on them and the uh, individuals <clears throat> that will be coming off of their parents insurance this year. I have seen so many of you from throughout open enrollment from our National Youth Enrollment Day events, um, events that we hosted at the White House. Um, I'm just really here to say thank you. You uh, made this about community, you made this about people, um, and you made this about the experiences that people have in this city uh, outside of some of the politics. Uh, and because of that, um, yes, they still may be called Obamacare and maybe will forever. Um, but it was about insurance. It was about getting covered. It was about their friends and their families finding out what was available to them. It was about their health. It wasn't about the politics of the city, even though all around them, um, this was such a political issue.